Hey guys, so I'm bringing you guys something super different today. <laughs> I know you guys are not used to seeing me cook on YouTube. I usually don't. Everybody knows I cook on my Instagram. So if you want to see me cook live or try things live, please go follow me on my Instagram. But for today, I am going to try to give you guys a recipe. So apparently people didn't realize this hack um, and honestly it's one I'm not going to say that I invented it because some people figured it out but I'm super surprised that it hasn't gone viral on TikTok or something already. But since I've been on the donut kick, people have not realized that you can make donuts out of Pillsbury dough. To be honest with you, you can make it out of any kind of biscuit dough. I made it primarily using Pillsbury, but I've used generic brands like growing up when I was a kid. I have not done it in probably over 20 years. I was really small. Um, and when I was younger, learning how to do things in the kitchen, I would do all types of weird things. So frying was one of them. You had a pot of oil, throw a bunch of crap in it, see what happens. Nonetheless, <laughs> you can make donuts um out of pillsbury dough everybody knows that i can make it from scratch you guys see me again on my instagram do it but um for the youtubers here i can make donuts i don't make them often from scratch i like Krispy cream so even my own donuts i'm like no there's nothing that compares i'd rather just go to Krispy cream and eat their donuts and save a lot of time so you don't have to go through the stress of proofing and also making sure that your yeast is correct and just waiting for your donuts to rise. So this is pretty simple. Um, you can get them done in about 15, 20 minutes if you just want a plain glazed donut. Today I'm gonna try to do um, a few different flavors for you. There's eight donuts in here. Last night I was trying to be ambitious and I said to in my mind, let's do eight different flavors. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that. I will at least do four for you today um and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna use regular buttermilk um biscuits i know people will probably think that it's savory but actually a lot of baked goods use buttermilk anyway um just for texture and also taste uh, it makes things a lot creamier i'm using regular buttermilk but i went to the store apparently there's honey butter biscuits i'm sure this has been around for a while but i don't think i've ever tried them I'm tempted to try it though just because it has flaky layers and I feel like in my mind this would be good and similar to a cronut but <laughs> I don't think today is the day to try something new um, at least for right now I'm gonna stick to what I know for this video um, so yeah enough of me let's just get hot right into it okay people so here's how you go about making biscuits look like donuts it's very easy so I have a little knife here with me just poke a hole inside twist it around it's not gonna do much damage just looks really tiny like so then you just take your fingers and you stretch it out so to be honest with you with that other one I didn't do that much of a stretch so you have to consider when you fry it it's going to puff up um, and get really big so you kind of want to make the holes a little bigger in the center to account for that and just keep stretching keep stretching you can stretch as much as you want dough is kind of forgiving when you fry it um, will these be perfect? Probably not, but they'll be homemade and delicious and it'll take you, again, if you just want to do regular glaze, it literally takes probably 20 minutes. Um, the longest amount of wait time is poking the holes and then just frying them up. But outside of that, they'll be good donuts. Alright, I'm going to finish poking the holes in these donuts and then I'm going to fry them up for you. So I'll be back. Oh 
Okay, I'm back and my donuts have cooled. So right now, I think I'm just gonna fast forward through like all the steps, but I'm just gonna explain to you what I'm about to do. It'll just save everybody a lot of time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do four flavors and I decided that I'm going to do a lemon and lavender flavor. Um, I'm going to do a key lime and coconut flavor. I'm going to do cookie butter with a little bit of heath on top. And then I'm also going to do a s'mores donut. Now for the key lime and coconut, um, while the donuts were frying towards the beginning, I had already toasted up some coconut. So feel free to do the same, it just makes life easier. And then for the s'mores, um, I made a cranberry cracker crumble. It was pretty simple, but again, I just didn't record it. It's just easier for me to do things quicker with my hands free. So I just took a coffee grinder, grinded up um, a couple of graham crackers, took a little bit of melted butter and some brown sugar, mixed it up, popped it in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. To be honest with you, after five minutes, you could already smell um, the sugar caramelizing uh, with the crumble. Then afterwards, I just pulled it out and let it cool. So I've had those toppings cooling on the side while the donuts have been cooling. So at this point, I'm just going to start on the frosting. Now, I don't want to do a glazed donut. I want it to hold a little bit more. So I think I'm going to switch up my recipe and do some butter shortening with some confectioner sugar. And that'll be the base for uh, the three donuts that I'm putting the glaze on. And then I'm going to add the different flavor. So whether it's lemon, whether it's the lime, whether it's chocolate. And then for the cookie butter one, I think as of right now, I'm just gonna spread a regular cookie butter on it. I don't wanna like thin it out or do anything extra. I just like the flavor of cookie butter. Um, and it also saved me some time. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me <laughs> make these frostings and then I'll come back and show you the final product. All right, cool.
try them. Oh my god, I've been trying this frosting <laughs> uh, as I've been like cooking it and it's delicious. So I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna tell you which one is my fave. So usually I am not a chocolate girl. I go for citrusy flavors. So I think I'm gonna like my lemon lime situation going on over here. But this s'mores one, as the kids would say, looks bussin'. I sound ridiculous saying bussin'. Nonetheless, it looks so good. Um, and I love Heath Bar, so I'm not really sure. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try a bite of each of them and just enjoy. Yeah, let's see. Alright, so this one is the coconut lime. Oh my god, I wish it would focus so you could see how good this looks. It's lighting. And... Oh my god. That tastes amazing. Look at this, I'm gonna take another bite. I probably could have fried it a little less, but this one tastes so good. Awesome. Right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you guys are about to see me eat this. Alright, this one is lemon and lavender. I suspect this is going to be my favorite because I put lemon and lavender in all of my smoothies, but let's see what we have here. Oh my god, if you don't cook with lavender, if you want something really light and refreshing and sweet, whether it's super unhealthy or like a healthy berry smoothie, try it. You heard it here first. It's delicious. And by far, like, the frosting doesn't look that good. Oof. But it is so decadent. Mm. If you want to try that, your kids or guests will go nuts for it. I feel like it's a very sophisticated bougie donut. I usually don't find lavender and donuts. But that is like the bomb. The next one I'm going to try is this cookie butter and heath donut. Zoom in there. Oh, I love heath. Let's try this one. Hmm. Hmm. It's delicious. Hmm. I'm just so used to eating cookie butter out of the jar with a spoon. That's weird having it with bread. Oh my god, it's really sweet. I'm gonna have all that water <laughs> back there. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm gonna drink it after this because this is like a sugar rush galore. And then, oh my goodness, you guys cannot appreciate how delicious these s'mores ones look. I feel like this is gonna be bomb.com. I'm gonna try to get a bite that has like a little bit of everything in it. See how I like it. Ooh. Mm. I literally look like a little kid. <laughs> Put chocolate over my face, but that is the one. I'm looking at these, you would have never known that it was like a Pillsbury biscuit. Nobody would have known. It's like that, um, again, that TikTok. Who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. And for about a quarter of the price, probably less, you can make something that looks semi-gourmet, serve it up for a party, 
using biscuit dough and literally nobody would know if you made this or if you got it from the bakery so it's like life hack 101 i'm gonna take another bite <laughs> this one oh my god this one's it anywho <laughs> so decadent so delicious it was quick and easy it took me So again, I think if you do it a normal glazed donut, it will take about 20 minutes, not even, just frying it up. And then you just use um, a little bit of milk, confectioner's sugar, and vanilla. And just put the glaze all over it and just dump the donuts in. Um, that'll take a lot less time. This one, just because it had so many extra components, it took a little bit. I would say all in all, it took me about an hour and a half to make these. Um, but again, that's if you want to do something homemade and you want to get super creative with it because again, the base is all the same, but the toppings are a little different. So, and also too, I tell people this all the time in my videos, so I bake in my house, but I'm not like in a super cool area. <laughs> There's no AC in here. Most of it have a ceiling fans. So today is about 91 degrees. So when you deal with heat and baked goods and frosting, you have to pause a lot to put things in the refrigerator and keep it cold. Nonetheless, absolutely delicious. Sort of kind of up to you what you want to do here and where you want to take the recipes. But honestly, just comment down below which ones you want to try if you um, decide to try these. And if you bake them, tell me which one is your favorite. Right now, this s'mores one is hidden. Like, <laughs> and I think if you have kids too, they're probably gonna like that s'mores one. I think if you're gonna do something a little fancy, a little bit more upscale for like a luncheon at home, I would do that lemon and lavender one. Um, just because you don't try those flavors normally. Anywhere in desserts, and I promise you, it's so light, it's so refreshing, and just enough sugar in it that like that sweetness is like just enough to get people um, you know through the meal if you want to use it for a lunch or brunch or something like that anyways thank you for watching um i need to again clean my face because now i'm sticky and probably drink a gallon of water because <laughs> this is against my diet nonetheless um it was pretty fun thanks for enjoying the show and let me know um if you try out these recipes all right cool beans have a good one guys bye